So this is a screenshot from the video itself that I'm uploading right now onto YouTube. So I'm gonna take this screenshot from the video and I'm gonna email it to my other email account that is attached to my phone. So we're gonna send that picture right now. I then open it up on my phone, save it to my phone, and open this image up on this app called Facetune, which is a cool little photo editing app. I then take the sharpener tool, which is basically just like a glorified Instagram filter. It uh, just basically brings out colors, it uh, brings out shades. So, you know, if you have cuts in your muscles, it'll bring the shadowing out better. It's basically like putting your photo under half natty lighting, so to speak. It really just makes the colors vibrant and pop. Um, people claim Photoshop, but you're not actually morphing anything. You're just bringing the colors and shades out more. And then I add the little black edges around the photo, and then I also brighten the photo up a little bit so it's eye-catching. And then I email the edited photo back to my computer where I then screenshot it because sometimes the photo itself is too high resolution to upload onto YouTube as a thumbnail. I upload it and save the video, of course. And then boom, we have three videos ready to go for the next three days. Uh, the video below it is the video that I uploaded today as I'm filming this. So we have tomorrow's video, the day after that, and the day after that, ready to go, scheduled to upload at 9 a.m. automatically, so I'm three days ahead of the curb. And I don't do this to be lazy. You might think it's nice to have a bunch of videos in a row so you can kind of kick back for a couple days and not worry about filming or editing, but because I'm doing a video every single day, I'm constantly filming and editing. In fact, I'll take just this little scene that I just filmed here, explaining the thumbnail, and I'm gonna put it on my computer right now, chop it up and edit it into a scene. And it might only be a 60 second long scene, but that'll at least give me the beginning for the next video so I know kind of what structure I wanna take that video in direction wise. The biggest thing is having time to make my next video allows me to make a better quality video like today nothing happened at all so if i needed to get a video up tomorrow and film it today it would have been a boring vlog and i didn't want to do that i don't want to film something just for the sake of putting it up on youtube so but the fact that i i have three days now to film my next video um that means i can film a little bit of training tomorrow i can film training for the next day i can film activities that happen three days from now it gives me more time to just get more diverse content for one single video thus creating a better video and that that is my thought process. Two things, three things, a few things. Hoodies, as of this video right now, I'm putting these hoodies on sale. They are 20% off, so they're $20 right now for a hoodie. For a hoodie, $20. Find a hoodie for $20 anywhere else on the approach of fall. We're working on some really new big things. I have some really, really high quality hoodies coming. You guys already know these. These hoodies are not custom made in high quality. So what I'm gonna do, drop them. They're on sale, 20% off, 20 bucks a hoodie. Grab it. It's a low priced comfortable hoodie once these are gone they're gone forever because they're old they're outdated i love them i enjoy them but they're not up to the the quality of made athletics and the rest of the stuff that's about to come to made athletics so once they're gone they are gone everything else here very high quality it will be restocked and we are almost sold out of the black and camel thank you guys for supporting very last and final thing just a quick thank you to those of you who keep sending me really positive supportive kind emails to the made athletics customer support email you guys don't have to do that, but you do it, and I appreciate every single kind of message I get from you guys. Thank you. Mom. Yes? What my name is today? The Red Baron. That's right. Going for that uh, Ronnie Coleman look where he just dressed in one solid color to train. Next week, I'll do the yellow, the yellow tights and the yellow shirt. I'm just kidding. It was laundry day. Time to go to the gym. Oh, and to add to that, red shaker, red pre-workout. Red's my favorite color. Unless it's in the stock market, then I don't want to see any red. Unless I'm looking to buy. What's up, man? Hey, you. Oh, I'm Nicholas. Oh, I love you. I need your help today, though. Thanks for saving my ride. So, the, the <laughs> primary reason I'm not working today? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> dude. That is the, the biggest pump I've ever seen on you. Yeah. I'm I'm training, uh, this is only day two for me, for PH3 by Lane Norton, and all I did was had Nick strap this to me right here towards the top of your armpit. If you go on YouTube, he links the video involved with PH3 for it, and occlusion what you're doing, <laughs> it's not occlusion training because you don't want to cut off the artery. What you're doing is you're trying to just limit blood flow so that blood gets trapped in the muscle. It it's worth, this is literally the, in person, this is the biggest one I've ever seen you have.
So today we're in for an awesome workout and it's funny, you know how there's some days where you eat and you sleep well and it's just a bad day, it's just an off day for no real reason? Uh, well, in turn, you also have some days where you do everything to set yourself up for a bad day and you end up having a great day for no reason at all. And that was today. I spent all day yesterday on the beach, <laughs> got a good sunburn too, didn't hydrate well all day yesterday, barely ate yesterday, didn't eat much this morning. And uh, I still managed to just feel phenomenal today in the gym. Just had an excellent workout. Uh, did front squats. I did uh, five sets of two with 315, which is technically a volume PR for me. I know it's not a whole lot, but I never really have done front squats. I mean, I did them back in the days of bodybuilding, but I never went past 225. I just did high reps with it. So when it comes to powerlifting training, I just started doing front squats. It's still a new movement to me. I'm still fixing my form. In the last video I did with uh, 305, a lot of you guys said my form was bad, and I agree. So I took extra time to really do more mobility this time. Last week I had done it right after I got off a plane. I took the time to open up my hips more with bands, and I also widened my stance just a little bit more so I could really open my hips up. And uh, I feel like it made a huge difference because my 315 felt way smoother and a lot less caving than last week's did. After my front squats, I had to do paused high bar squats, three sets of five reps um, with 335 pounds. Felt amazing. And one interesting thing I, I found is as I was getting fatigued, I would kind of let out this grunt right out of the hole on the way up. And uh, it wasn't like on purpose, it just was kind of involuntary. And I noticed when I did that, the bracing in my gut and my core would get even stronger, like I'd push my stomach against the belt even harder when I yelled coming out of the hole and it would keep my body more upright and you can see it. The, the reps in which I kind of just hold my breath the whole time, I fold over a little bit or I want to start folding over and the reps where I kind of yell come out of the hole, I'm a little bit more upright. So it's kind of interesting to notice that. But man, it felt good, really good. Come on, man. License and registration. Okay, with the I speeding, officer? 35 and 30. That can be a dangerous speed in the neighborhood. Oh, sorry about that. I was just running a little late. Well, now you're running very late. All over the country, cops are cracking down. If you see a ticket, no way to sign it. By the Florida Department of Transportation. Later on this week, I'll be doing my heavy low bar squats with a very special guest. I am more excited, I think, than I ever have been for this training partner to be here. I really need to get these clothes out of my car. These are, this is an entire order of Made Athletics. It was a whole nother design of Made shirts that I ordered back when the black and gold came out and uh, they messed up. But the way they messed up, long story short, it, it, they weren't held accountable for it. Long story short. So basically, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna sell a design that I don't like, and it didn't, it wasn't even like what I wanted for the design. So I just had to eat the couple of thousand dollars I spent on it. And I keep meaning to donate them, because you can donate clothing, if it's a large amount like this, they'll give you a receipt just for the, the amount of clothing that you donated, and then you can write that off in tax. So it's like if you're gonna, eat two thousand dollars that's long gone you can at the very least write it off for tax um, I mean you can write that expense off anyway but then you can write the donation off too and help yourself out a little bit that way so it's not like a complete and total loss but I just completely keep forgetting to do it and uh, <laughs> it is cluttering up my car these oh, these are your orders for this morning that I gotta take to the post office can't thank you guys enough for supporting me